Hey what's up guys this is Asnan and you're watching Training Code. So today we're gonna create the same screen which you're able to see on the screen right now. So we have a lot more going on with a new Morphic UI and that's what we're gonna create. Okay so this is going to be a UI right now so that there will be a no functionality of playing music or uh, uh, clicking on the button and all those stuff if you want to know how to do all this stuff I have created one playlist on creating a music player you can just go ahead or you can click on the card over there upside so let's dive into it so we have a, a basic setup done over here so uh, I have a soft UI music soft UI class including a material app and then written home as in home I have a scaffold with a back background color of this make sure you want to have the same color to make a perfect soft UI you have a padding with the symmetric vertical 50 and horizontal 10 you can play with these numbers according to your need and then we have a column where we are going to create our UI so to make our uh, UI look more better I mean the code separation and a clean code we're gonna create a other file called utils.dart inside that we're gonna first import our package of material and then I'm gonna create a class called utils okay and this util is gonna have our widgets so first widget is our app bar and that app bar is going to return basically it is going to return a row with a children's of total three right so the first children is going to be an icon and that icon is going to be um, iOS iOS back button and then another icon is uh, the, the another icon that is going to be a last so um, icon and then that icon is going to have an icons dot um, more horries okay this is going to be an icon not an icon so. And in between we're gonna have okay let's just see how it's gonna look like first so not, for now nothing is going to get rendered over here because we need to import we need to import this class okay and then we need to use this method so we're gonna import this utils okay and then we're gonna use an app bar so we have something like this right now now we're gonna use an expanded horizontal uh, text which which is going to be something like uh, liked songs okay and let's see how it's gonna look like of course it should be in the between so we're gonna create a text alignment and text alignment dot center sorry text alignment dot center perfect now let's go ahead and give our uh, UI a soft design to that buttons okay to both the icons so first I'm gonna wrap my icon to a container and that container is going to have a box decoration so uh, the decoration is going to be box decoration sorry it's box decoration not a shadow and inside box decoration first we're going to give a color and that color is going to be same as our background color so just go ahead and copy the same color and paste it into our utils.dart right now we're going to have a border radius okay sorry a border radius and that border radius is going to be a border radius dot circular border radius dot circular and give some higher number to get that perfect circle and then um, uh, you want to give some padding so give padding age insets all and 8.0 cool let's see we have something like this now <clears throat> you need to give decorate uh, box shadow so you're gonna give box shadow which accepts as a list box shadow and this box shadow is going to have um, color now this color is going to be an R G okay it is going to be a colors dot color dot R G B O red green blue and opacity so right now we're gonna have a zero 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 to get a that kind of gray color 0 0.6 and then we're gonna have a spread ratio 
<coughs> which is going to be 3.0 and then we're going to have a blur ratio or a blur radius and that is going to be over 6.0 so guys i have played with this number while uh, developing the ui for practice so you can go ahead and even play and change the numbers and then we're going to have most important that is the axis so offset axis and on x axis it is going to be 6 and on y axis it is going to be 2 right let's see we have something like this now we need to put an exact same box shadow but in the into the opposite side of it okay so let's just give it so i'm gonna have 255 255 255 so this is the uh, white RGBO and of course we don't need that on the same axis we need to make it in, in opposite side so we're going to use a negative of negative of offsets of x axis and y axis and um, how about if I go ahead and do it 9 no it doesn't look the same how about uh, if I go and do it as a 1 I guess this is fine Cool. this looks perfectly fine how about if I go ahead and give you 10 okay now we got that soft effect I'm gonna go ahead and copy this container and I'm gonna put that container over here sorry um, I need to I don't I cannot collapse and copy so some bugs over there or maybe I'm not using a correct plugin or a correct package <clears throat> I'm gonna go ahead and paste it over here cool and then um, I'm gonna change to Horis more Horis uh, more Horis yeah cool 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 and I'm gonna give the padding of uh, 8.0 a uh, 10.0 actually how that got away so we have two buttons with a beautiful material design now we need an album image let's go ahead and do that okay so a lot more people complaining about my phone size and they cannot see the phone size so i just forgot in the previous uh, session that i have to increase my phone size but now i have increased the phone size and one more thing i have changed my um, the white color box shadow to 0 0.9 from 1 so you can go ahead and do that now uh, the other thing comes in is our uh, you know the album image so I'm gonna have one more widget method that returns the image along with some decorations so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a widget and that widget name is going to be an album image and that is going to accept the build context because we need to use the height of the screen and according to that we are going to give the size of that of that container so i'm going to have a container okay and uh, that returns a container and this container is going to have some um, decoration actually not a padding so first we're going to put decoration or first we give height and width so height is going to be um, a media query dot off dot context dot size dot uh, height of 3.5 so we can give the album height image height according to the screen size to make it perfect a kind of a kind of you know responsive and then uh, we're gonna have a decoration box decoration and inside the box decoration first of all we're gonna have an image right so this image is going to be um, network network image and then does it accept no I guess we need to have uh, image decoration class image decoration do we have that I guess no so let me just check what I exactly used to get the background image um, 
This is weird. That is decoration image, not the background background image. Decorated decoration image. Okay. So the, we're gonna have something called decoration image, and inside that I'm gonna use an image, and that is going to come from my network image, and that accepts an URL. And of course, I cannot remember the name of the widget. How can I remember that big URL? So I'm gonna copy and paste that URL from my previously created screen. Oh my God, this is getting weird. Now, I'm gonna put it over here and let's see how it's gonna look like. So, still we don't have inject, we, we have not injected this into our main screen. So, let's go ahead and do that. Album image, utils.album image. So, uh, let's see how it's gonna look like. Okay, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, yeah. Cool. Now, now, now 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 okay so uh we need uh, a rounded rounded image you know so what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a border radius right away so okay not in decorated image but over here border radius so border radius dot circular and that is going to be a higher number three hundred point zero and 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 to make it perfectly round we need to give a same width cool and this is this is weird this is weird but we can fix it no worries we're gonna use something called fit box fit dot cover cool looks perfectly fine and then we're gonna have some margin as well so age insets they're all 10.0 uh, how about 10.0 10.0 is so less how about 20.0 cool uh, no I guess I need 50 okay and then uh, I'm gonna have the same um, box shadow I'm gonna copy and paste this because I'm so lazy you know so uh, we're gonna have same box decoration I'm just go ahead, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and copy and paste it over and over again you know because we have so many box shadows to give into our whole app so i'm gonna go ahead and paste it right over 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 inside a box decoration over here so this is again a weird we need decoration that is already here so i need to only copy the box shadow cool 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 okay so uh, <clears throat> let's close this and um, I'm gonna paste it over here and hit a comma so we have that box shadow over there so um, cool cool okay we can make it more better if you want by giving a border uh, border border dot all dot all and how about giving it a color of colors dot gray a gray of um, 300 okay and give us size or a width do we call it as a width I don't know exactly because I'm doing this yes width how about if we give 10.0 looks cool that's what i was looking for and it is looking good and let's just form it over form it over form it over form it over document okay cool looks great i i think so looks great so now let's go ahead and create our box i mean the song name okay so our third widget we're gonna create our third widget and that widget is going to be our song name so we're gonna say as a song name and 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 it's gonna return the the column because we need a vertical way of our text so of course it's gonna return the column and that column is going to be um, 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 children's 
so the children first children is going to be a text so I don't know the song name so I'm gonna say I am I am gonna pick pick you I don't know the song name actually so I'm gonna put some random text and then we're gonna give some styles to our text <clears throat> so that it looks pretty pretty good so we're gonna have a textile class and that textile is gonna have a font 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 size how about 24.0 and you can again go ahead and play with this number and then and then and then we're gonna have a font weight actually um, font weight that is going to be a font weight dot how about 800 weight 800 sorry <clears throat> okay let's go ahead and inject it first so that we can get a rough idea how it's gonna look like uh, song name right I always do this I'm gonna I always forget this this kind of you know the putting a comma over there and then I'm gonna have a text okay and that text is going to be um, a song name so I don't remember <laughs> let me see what was that name of that a subheading foster the people oh my gosh okay so I'm gonna have a foster a people and then um, again we're gonna have some style and that style is going to be um, text text style font size is going to be foreign 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 font size font size is going to be 14.0 cool looks good looks good but we need to change the we need to change the we need to change the color of the font. Let's make it a little bit gray. Um, okay, we'll do that in the in the end of the video. You know, we can do that using a theme. So now let's go ahead and create that progress bar right away. Okay, okay. So we're gonna create a widget. I mean, uh, another widget called progress bar. And of course, it's gonna complain me. So I'm gonna put that small and then i'm gonna return the 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 the, 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 the stack because we need uh, a two containers upon each other and you'll get to know what exactly what exactly we are doing so a children's and then first container and that container height is going to be you know kind of kind of Kind of 10 because it is going to look a little bit low heighted progress bar so um height is going to be a 10.0 and then um we're gonna have a decoration a box uh, decoration and inside box decoration um we're gonna have border uh, border radius border radius dot border radius border radius dot circular of 15.0 <clears throat> and then we're gonna have a border sorry for my throat I'm gonna have a border and that border uh, dot all it's going to have a color of um, how about colors dot white and then uh, you know <coughs> style is going to be sorry a style is going to be or do we really need style let let us see uh, let's go ahead and first inject then see what happened so I'm gonna give you tilts dot um, uh, 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 progress bar yeah over here let's see I always do that you know and then we have something like this right so um, how about if we put this stack into a little bit of 
little bit of uh, padding <coughs> and then we put only and in this only we're gonna give same for or we can use no are we gonna use only so that we can have a different from all four directions so from left we're gonna put 30 from right we're gonna put 30 and from top we're gonna put uh, 10 looks cool yeah now we're gonna give some uh, <coughs> color and color is going to be um, colors dot white that is colors dot white so we have something like that right now and then we're gonna give some thing called gradient linear gradient and linear gradient accepts the colors um, you know the list of color so um, you need to have a colors dot gray so uh, I have played with this color a lot and I'm gonna use the same color because I'm lazy because I'm lazy so here is linear gradient uh, that is quite easy. I guess you understand what exactly we are doing over here is just we are copying and pasting and The the thing is over here. I'll just explain what exactly we are copy and pasting so You guys know uh, In linear gradient we need to give begin and end that is how from wherever color should start and wherever color should end so um, I'm gonna format it first so that you can understand and we're gonna have a two colors that is gray with a 400 of 400 say shade which is going to look something like this and another color is going to be our white right so just save it so we have something called uh, inset you know an inset progress bar okay and then we're gonna have the same container you know that is going to be a top of that container with a different width so the width is going to be um, make it as 80 right now so that is that shows our song completion a kind of song completed how much song is completed and then we're gonna put this vice versa so I'm gonna use white 70 okay and I'm gonna put this over here and let's see so that is that is what exactly it is looking but uh, we have different colors into our uh, this this pack which is which we are going to work over here so that is top center bottom center there's a top center bottom center and okay we have a different color so let's just take a look that is color dot white 70 and gray is of uh, 700 so let's just go ahead and do that cool looks pretty good okay yeah looks pretty good but now um, you know we need to give some more some more from top to make it okay now <clears throat> I'm really sorry for my throat <clears throat> now what we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna create the um, you know a container which returns the text that is going to be a timing of our uh, music so the widget uh, song time and that is going to return the row first of all so return sorry return the row and this row gonna have children's the first children is going to be our of course an expanded text expand expanded sorry expanded and it's gonna have a text of uh, random number saying um, 195 and another expanded text okay and that expanded text is going to be uh, six minutes so let's see how it's gonna look like let's go ahead and inject it first but we need a same you know a kind of same padding so i'm just gonna go ahead and copy that padding for the progress bar right and 
grab your uh, roll with a padding and remove this padding and paste that padding which we just pasted right now so uh, you're gonna go ahead and uh, inject it into your main contain main class and that is going to be a song time okay so let's see okay so uh, it is perfect but we need to put 10 over here and we need to change the um, text alignment for this particular text so the text alignment dot uh, right okay so what we're gonna do is um, we're gonna create some button icons you know um, the kind of we're gonna say songs button right and then uh, basically it is going to return a row again so um, you can see in this pack for a better understanding what we are building right now so um, inside a row um, first we're gonna have a children's and then okay and then we're gonna have the same container what we created just right over here okay so I'm gonna copy and paste that same container cool so um, just 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 I'm gonna go ahead and paste it over here <coughs> And the first is I'm gonna create a Cuper. I'm gonna use a Cupertino icon. So the Cupertino Cupertino icons dot hard solid. Okay. So this is my favorite song. What I'm indicating with that kind of uh, icon. So utils dot song button. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's see. Okay looks cool and then um, of course we need to change the icon color uh, but we'll do that in the end of the video as I said because we can do that using a theme right now uh, I'm gonna use the same container again and again okay and first I'm gonna I'm gonna assign this uh, a main axis alignment main axis alignment dot space between and main axis align okay space between is enough uh, or a space around dot space around or space evenly that is more better yeah now um, I'm gonna use the same container again and again and I'm gonna change the icon size and the icon uh, name fast it is uh, icons dot fast rewind Okay, so there was uh, there was not a rocket science anymore over there because I just copy and pasted the code which we did again and again and I changed the icon and the size of the icon. That's all I did in this fast forward moment. Okay, so that's all I did. Now we are remaining with only two buttons. That is um, another widget we're going to call that as you know, a kind of widgets dot widgets um i'm gonna call this an and and buttons i don't know what should i give it a name so okay and button and that is going to again you know a kind of same as our 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 this text we did it so what we're gonna do is we're gonna use that same thing and i'm gonna paste it over here instead of row i'm gonna use the icon and i don't i don't remember what are the icons over there so i'm going to use 
uh, icon dot um, how about share and uh, icon dot I'm gonna remove this text and I'm gonna put icon and then I'm gonna say icons dot phone or something like that icons dot phone Android something like this I, I, I really don't know uh, let's put this yeah I, I don't know why I'm, I'm I'm gonna give this icon but uh, okay let's just do that this is weird but it's fine uh, let's do it and let's inject into the main on main dot dot <laughs> so that that is gonna be utils dot <laughs> and buttons <laughs> oh my god seriously look at that name Pray, man Okay, and again, uh, I don't need this to be in center, you know, uh, so you need to have some alignment. Do we have alignment over here? The X direction. Uh, what does it mean? The text direction, text alignment. Okay, the text alignment should be, should be, should be, should be left for this. It doesn't accept, doesn't accept the text align. The argument type text align cannot be assigned to the parameter of text uh, decoration direction sorry so okay we can do one thing is we can use the align for this you know we can use this widget so um, where is wrapped with the widget okay it is forced <laughs> so we're gonna have align and then we're gonna have something called alignment and alignment align alignment dot dot right center right or center left okay cool and then again we're gonna have an alignment <coughs> first we're gonna have an align chain and then alignment so here we go we have an alignment and that is going to be alignment oh sorry alignment dot center right cool <laughs> but this is not what i showed in the specs so uh again we need to work with our main dot and make it as a main axis alignment main axis alignment dot space evenly looks cool looks pretty amazing beautiful no claps please i just i'm just loving that so um one more thing you know there is more space between this progress bar and the uh, numbers so you can just go ahead and remove that top a bit zero yeah looks better can we give in a negative i just want to give a negative i just want to hack that it doesn't matter okay cool so um let's go ahead and do work with some theme you know okay so um let's go ahead and create some theme you know it's not about changing the dark and light theme i'm talking about the theme of your text you know how can you just change the uh, color of your text without giving a color directly when you're giving a text inside a text widget so you can do that easily using you know uh, called theme so theme equals to uh, theme data inside that you're gonna use a text theme first of all so a theme you're going to use the current context theme so uh, something like this theme dot off current context so text theme and then you're going to apply that directly on, on your text body so first comes in our body color so whatever you apply into your text that is going to be a body color and that is going to be a colors dot whatever you want so right now we're going to give a red and it's going to of course it's going to throw some error in between you need to restart your app for that and then it's fine okay and right now we got a, 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 a round a, you know kind of red color you can just go ahead and use this as the same color so it looks it looks even it even it looks good you know and you can give the icon 
theme as an icon theme data and then you go ahead and give a color with the same color colors dot uh, you know red and bam you go directly to that color without changing uh, anything into your so you don't need to go ahead everywhere into your widget and then you have to specify the color you know you can just go ahead directly change at one place and then things are done automatically over there but i know i i you know i just like uh, to give these colors as in gray so i will just go ahead and give colors dot gray of shades of 700 and same with my icon you know now with this one looks pretty good so uh i hope you like this video and uh please support me by subscribing my channel you know when i just see my youtube uh, dashboard i can see that people come and see my video but they don't subscribe to my channel even they hit the like button and all but they don't subscribe to my channel come on people hit that subscribe button along with that bell icon so that i can make more stuff and i can give some more information about flutter and ui designing you know and the next video or maybe the after that uh, maybe the next video or maybe the next video in the future we're gonna change the theme of this custom theme of this whole uh, whole application or the whole ui it might be right now it is a light theme we're gonna change it into a dark theme so i just wanted to show you know by changing the theme color theme color and icon color we can do that easily even we can do this scaffold background color easily but what about the uh, box shadow we don't have any option to change the box shadow from the theme uh, theme data we don't have that right now so how to do that we are going to see into the next video and how we can change the theme color from light to dark you know on a button click and that affect throughout the app that is what we are going to shoot that is what we are going to see in the next video so stay tuned for that you have to subscribe it and then you have to press the bell icon and if you like this video go ahead and smash that like button no it's not over you have to do that i'm waiting okay cool thanks for that pressing that like button so i'm gonna see you in the next one Bye bye